What's up dudes, it's Chad here at Barry Big Plums Fishing, back here at Fordling Bridge in the New Forest at Rockbourne Trout Fisheries. Nice stalking box guys, so you've got various different uh, tungsten stalking bugs there, you've got your damsels in the top right, you've got some nice big white things, you've got your little stuff there on the right hand side, like uh, when all else fails, bits and pieces. So the trick of stalking is you spend 95% of your time walking around looking for stuff and literally 5% of your time casting the fish you actually want. Um, Rockbourne stocked extremely well and if you go out there and fan cast like you would at some other fisheries you will get your quota pretty quickly especially early in the morning when the fish are cruising looking for food so I think this might be the place to hold up for a little while I like the look at that one looks quite um looks quite fit Right, so I'm going to get a little bit ahead of him. Right, I need to get this right in front of his path. Okay, right, he's coming, he's coming. Tweak, 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 tweak. There we go. <laughs> there we go. That was a uh, well stalked there, Chad. Well stalked. I mean, it's not a giant double, but that's a chunky rainbow, right? That's nice and lean. There we go, he's off. So the trick there is getting just a few steps in front of him and then dropping the stalking bug on him. Not kosher fly fishing guides, but that's a nice well proportioned rainbow. Bigger than the ones it was round. The to say he's a little bit bigger so I'm not giving it putting loads of pressure on him it's probably about a five pound I reckon so that other trout is oblivious oh, he's definitely got some weight to him Ugh. there he, he's waking up he's waking up There we go, that was stalked in real time, guys. That's pretty much how I uh, play it. Maybe not my target, as big as the target fish I was going for, but certainly worth a shot. Pulling some line off, pulling some line off, pulling some line off. Still pulling some line off. He is waking up now. Don't know if I've got a chance with a net. That is a really lean fish. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Okay, let's bring him in. Ah, no, no, no. There we go. That actually, guys, that's a five or six pound fish. I'll give you a picture of him in a minute. So there you have it guys that's a nice chunky rainbow i would put him somewhere around the um five pound mark um stalked out here from long acre so i'm using a damsel pattern i'll show you that but a lovely fish nice and uh proportioned well it's, it's not a pellet pig a nice torpedo of a trout so that's fun man there's something about stalking that's just that little bit more entertaining i think than um fan casting and here's the uh, bug that done the damage. This is a Martin Williams stalking damsel. Dropped about three or four feet in front of him, waited for it to sink to his level and just twitched it. Watched him come in, snap at the fly, and I struck and hit my fish. Awesome fun. Man. Finally, this is the one I've been chasing all day, guys. Oh, come on. 
stalked under the tree. Let's make sure this is recording. Right, sorry because I lost my last double in here. Okay, let's get this bad boy on the reel. That took a lot of work, guys. That took a lot of work. And now I'm stuck in between trees as well, which is never good. But that was about three or four refusals. Oh, mate. That's a big fish. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Ah, that is not cool. Not cool. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, that's a double, guys. I think that's a double. Oh. <laughs> right. Let's try. And. No, not going to work. Oh. There we go, got it around, got it around the tree. Really lucky there to have not lost that fish. Oh, that really hurt my shoulder. That really hurt my shoulder, but that's fine. That's fine, I've got the fish on the short line. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, bloody hell. This is when my glass rod could have come in useful. Oh, that's a big fish, guys. That's a big fish. Oh, that took, that off, took some uh, tempting. Refusal after refusal. I took him on a natural damsel um, stalking bug. One of uh, Martin Williams' jobs. But uh, that's the risk when you're fishing between trees. You risk not being able to get the fish out. That being said, I haven't got the fish in the net yet. So I'm not going to give it the big big one yet, but you've seen this on the camera. That is a big rainbow, guys. Really, really big rainbow. There's talks of a 12 in here. That might, well, I don't know, actually. That's big. Might be a double. That might be a double. That might. Be a double, guys. Oh, no, 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 no. He's still not done. I'm walking with him. I'm walking with him. Oh, mate. No, 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 no. Come on. Stay away from that. That's weeds there. No, stay away from the roots. Stay away from the roots. Oh, just turned him. Just turned him. Come on. I don't want to bully him too much. It's only on six pound tip it. Oh, you slag. Damn it! Oh. Damn it, damn it, damn it. That was most definitely close to 10. Oh. When the hook pulls, there's not a lot you can do, guys. Damn it, man. Lost him. After my heartache of losing that double figure fish here on Spring Lake, I've come for this tiny tie 16 stalking bug. And I think as a consolation prize, I'm gonna try to get myself a Spartic trout. I've never caught a Spartic trout before. And I believe they're a mixture of char and brook. I can see the Spartics, because they've got funny white marks on their fins. So let's just try and tempt one of these, these little stalking bugs. But they're not overly easy to catch. I think I'm a little bit like brownies. There's... Speaking of which, I've just took this Spartic. There we go, tiny size 16. <laughs> Hey, well, hello, 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 hello. That is mental. What a run. What a run. Right, quick, 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 quick. Bring the line in. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Wow. What a run. This is only a little size 16 stalking bug, guys, so I want to take it a little bit easy. Whoa, I need to tighten up my reel a little bit. I think there we go. Saying there's some nice size fish here. 
Wow, that was, that's a lovely fish down there actually. I'm playing this bar tick. So, so a little size 16 stalking bug. Oh, that was one of the biggest runs. It's not like it's a massive fish either. But that was amazing. Spartic trout. My very first. I'm not going to say too much because when I started talking about having a double figure trout earlier, it come off the hook. But um, we've got that Spartic trout. That was an amazing run, guys. Absolutely amazing run. Absolutely pretty fish. Absolutely pretty fish. That's the sort of run that you get. So this is what they're probably feeding on. Can you see the tapholes there, guys? That's probably what they're gorging themselves on at the moment. There we go, he's ready for the net, I think. Little size 16 stalking bug in his, uh, in his side there. Wow. Chad's first Spartic trout. Right, let's dispatch him and have a proper look. There you go guys, I'll take that as a consolation prize for losing my double figure fish earlier in the day. My first ever Spartic trout. What a beautiful, beautiful fish. Awesome, man. Not a bad session at all. I was really, really unlucky to lose that double. I actually figured out why I lost that double. It was streaming away. Uh, my, my reel was, you know, letting loads and loads of line out and I was palming the spool to slow it down, which is kind of weird. But afterwards, I examined my reel and I had it on really, really low tension, basically notch number two for six or seven pound line. I normally have it on notch number four, and that gives me just enough power to turn big fish. So basically, I ballsed up big time, and it's my own fault I lost that uh, trout because I couldn't turn it because my reel didn't have enough drag to do so. So, kind of a failure on my part, but you know, that's why it's called fishing, not catching, right? But on the plus side, I caught two Spartic trout. I've not caught any Spartic before and I caught two on the same day. So that's a great consolation prize. As always, I really enjoy Rockbourne Trout Fishery. Wander around with my Orvis Helios 3 rod. And just having a blast, man. I love it here in Hampshire. I've got a three hour drive home. It's about 5 p.m. now and I won't be home till 8 p.m. I've got a roast dinner waiting for me. Um, thanks guys, that was an absolutely awesome session as always. Cheers, Chad at Barry Big Pumps Fishing, signing off.